moment then, are we? Yeah, yeah. we'll end up finally. John's putting his sun cream on optimistically. Oh, hello and welcome. I'm, uh, I'm walking myself to death in the Brecon Beacons with Rob from Wild Camper. I can't see the bottle. And John from Muddy Paws. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We're here for three days camping and walking. My bag feels very heavy. Yeah, I was invited along because I'm a professional hiker, and uh, we've been going a good, a good five minutes. <laughs> we're just having a little break, but uh, yeah, I don't know where we're going because John is navigating. Oh, it's hot. It was raining. I had rain gear on. I was sweating under the rain gear, but it's a beautiful place, and it's nice to be out. Be nice if I had good company, but you know, you take what you can get. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So we're looking for a cave. And we're climbing up a, a lovely, well-worn, well-maintained footpath. Look at these rocks. It's just hideous. So we're going careful. And then we're going to have some lunch, aren't we? Yeah, in the L cave. Lunch in a cave. That's where we've got to go. And then we're heading up there somewhere. More steady. Oh, 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 oh. Right, you're right, you're there. It goes down quite a way. Yeah, you nearly explored the full depth. <laughs> yeah. So John here is doing a hill and moorland leader navigation course, which is why he's crazily risking his life walking in a wet cave because um, if he falls in, me and Rob, we know the way home. But, uh, yeah, the cave was on the map and it got navigated to, so must be doing well. Yeah, we're going to stop here and have lunch if my salami is defrosted. A bit drippy. Yeah. I think we'll have lunch up the top. Uh, no, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh, you'd love it in there, Rob. Today. We've got salami, we've got cheese, and we've got wraps. What could be better.
Is the rain gone? Uh, it's not raining over here. <laughs> what rain? So we stop for lunch at the cave, which is quite cool but very dangerous. I walked down onto the rocks and the first rock that put my foot on, my foot went from under me. But above the cave here, the sheep are running past. And um, we have a cup of tea and then we're looking for a waterfall. And I think we're going to camp near a waterfall. To dr drown out all the snoring. <laughs> if we can. Mm. But we'll see, as we say, we, we're playing it by ear because we're just making up as we go. Where did we start? What was it called? Istradfeld. Istradfeld. Excuse my pronunciation. Which, um, yeah, nice little village. With a pub and a shop. But the pub's not open. <laughs> the pub's shut for the next two days. So we're planning on visiting it in, in three days. I might move up there and sit with a cup of tea and look at the view. I hid down here out the way of the wind and the rain that threatened to come and then didn't. really hard going but we're hoping in a couple of K a couple of kilometers we're gonna find path you never know Slog, my god, that field was hard going. Big tufts of grass with little streams running in between them. We've got a cup of tea now. It might break me. I'll be alright. John carries my bag, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll carry it on my front. Yeah, have yeah. a cup of tea, look at the view. Look at these rocks. Yeah. It's all right, the rocks broke my fault. <laughs> Well, you think? Down the 
huh? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, this, sort of nettle There's here. a nettle bit there, but it's not so bad here. I don't really want to just launch myself off. Steps are strong, but they are slippery. Steps are strong, but slippery. I am the heaviest of the three. Is it? It's four o'clock. Oh, so we've been going. We've been going for uh, a good couple of hours from lunch, and I'm having fun. I'm now having fun. Whoa. Now we're out of that thick grass, and we're onto these lovely manicured footpaths that you see. It's um, that's really fun. It's a good adventure. So, uh, whew. nearly there. Nearly there. We're looking for somewhere to camp, but. We've got a couple of hours. I'll get left behind. just stopped um, by this babbling brook to uh, fill up on water. John's bought a Soya Mini and uh, Rob's got another filter which I forget the name of but um, yeah John's just refilled my bottle for me and uh, I've, got a, I've got a life straw that you can drink straight out the river but I wanted to have a bottle because we're going to head up the hill we're looking for an, for an old quarry now. I think we're going to camp in the quarry because it's half past four. So we'll probably go for another hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then uh, and then we'll stop and set up somewhere. So we just stopped by this river, which is really beautiful. Yeah, I'm having a good day. Feet are getting a bit sore. So. Boots are coming off in the next hour and I'll air my feet for a while. Yeah, this river's lovely, really, really lovely. <sighs> we made it. We made it. Rob's offering me beer, so uh, here's where we're camping. I'll set up in a minute, but I'm gonna go and drink some beer first. <sighs> it's a lovely spot though. Sun's gonna set that way. We'll, uh, we'll get there in a minute. But yeah, have a quick beer and then pitch my tent, which is gonna be difficult because it's a little bit rocky. But yeah, never mind. Boots are coming off soon. That'll be nice. Let's get some beer. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, fill it up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Have a little tilt there. Cheers. Thank you very much. Not much, but it's uh Cheers, chaps. Token. Okay. Well done, lads. I miss Tink. Yeah. You're alright, but you know, Tink's a star, isn't she? Give me the stink eyes I left. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Sort of 
flat. Thought of. difficult to get the pegs in. Uh, putting them in almost horizontally. Yeah. And then getting a big rock. And you just weighting it down. And that's not bad. So that's the setting up. Almost there. So as I say, it's difficult to get the pegs in so Pegged them in horizontally and then a rock on each peg and hopefully that's going to hold it down. i have to put a rock on the ones that are on the main body of the tent as well. I think I probably will. Chainsaw instead. See when he's driving on the tracks. I'll be on strike. Yeah, he'll be on strike. Okay. Well, we're all set up, kind of. I got my one beer. I got my one beer for the evening until I break out the whiskey. Although there's a rumour that John's got red wine. In a bag. Two and a half litres. Two and a half litres. <laughs> I'll do my best to be nice to him for the rest of the evening. That's not too hard. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about the tent. I've not slept in it. I've only put it up in the garden. The ground's a little bit wobbly, but I think I should be sufficiently tired. I was up at five o'clock this morning around to Rob's house at six-ish and we picked John up and Rob kindly drove all the way here with no complaints. We did have a McDonald's breakfast so and it's a beautiful spot. You all done? I think so. Have a sit down. Oh man, that's cold. Yeah, so the boots are off. Oh, just oh, tending to my sore feet. So, this is my lunch stuff for tomorrow, which has got salami, cheese, and flatbread. And I want to keep it cold. So, 
it's going in the water. It's in a Ziploc bag, inside a Ziploc bag, inside a carrier bag, with a knot tied in it. And it's going there, and I'm putting that on it. That. that is my refrigeration for the evening. Yeah, I've had my beer. Feeling good. Feeling very good. And uh, oh, it's a stunning, stunning evening in a stunning place. I'm going to get the gas stove on in a minute. I've got, uh, I think they're Wayfarer meals, I think is what they're called. So I've got Wayfarer meals tonight. I think I'm going to go chicken tikka this evening. And we'll see how that is. I've never had these Wayfarer meals before, but word is they're, they're edible, so that will be that. Oh man, this water's cold. It's really nice. got his couple of beers and his milk floating just over there in a, in a little weir he's constructed. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just block that in with some rocks so it doesn't float away. Float away. my bag. There are bubbles. But that's alright. I've got a pastory type meal that I can have for lunch if if not like a boiling uh, like, like a pot noodle y thing but in a bag with pasta so if that ends up that it's soggy and horrible then I'll have uh, I'll have pasta. go back and get my food on. So I'm getting hungry. It's 20 to 7 and all is well. It's 
smells like curry. Oh my god. Looks like something that Tink threw up. <laughs> Yummy. Looks like, eh? Oh, you dropped it. Mmm. Nice, yeah. It's really nice. Oh yeah. That's gorgeous. <laughs> that curry was delicious. Let's try. Sam's got a bag of diarrhea. Let's try some chocolate pudding. I use my tent peg on the. Uh, I use the tent peg on the stove, and look at the tent peg. That's crazy. Quality mango product. It's even more lightweight now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we all know it's going to taste horrible. Actually, the chocolate one's okay. First, two now. Don't sound convinced. I've had better. You have to eat it all. Oh, that's congealed chocolate goodness. Yeah, that sums it up actually, doesn't it? Congealed chocolate. Mmm. Shall we eat this? And cup of tea. Watch the sunset. I do like some ramen. Oh yeah, I just I don't want to carry it all tomorrow. Thank you very much. So as much of this as we can get rid of tonight. Ah. Little fingers. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I'm just putting his legs on. Well, it's a, an easy way. So we drunk some red wine. We watch the sunset. It's very pretty here. And, uh, yeah, it's time for bed. I'm hoping I'm going to be warm enough. And, uh, worryingly, my uh, inflatable mattress seemed to be not as full as when I um, when I inflated it. So I put a bit more air in. And hopefully, when I lay on it, it doesn't go down. Otherwise it's going to be a cold night. Anyway, we'll see you bright and early. I'm very tired now. Yeah, say so good night. Well, good morning. Whew. So sleeping on a rocky hill was... Uh, probably as expected. It was alright. I moved most of the rocks and um, I can't remember what I'm saying. I moved most of the rocks and yeah it was just a slight hill so there was a bit of sliding off the sleeping mat going on so I pushed it all up one side. I tried it diagonally but you know we we was we was in bed at what nine thirty I think. I slept through till twelve, then I had to have a wee, and then uh, I think I woke up at four briefly, and uh, and now it's it's about eight o'clock I think. So it wasn't too bad. I'm just. Uh, on the walk of shame. 
looking, looking for a nice spot to make my mark. Also, just looking at the view. It's pretty cool, boy. Yeah, it's a really nice spot. Yeah, we'll keep walking for a minute. I think there's another quarry here. I'm going to go and have a look at it. My toes are still a bit sore from yesterday. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So on today's agenda, I think is walk into another place to camp, essentially. So, uh, I'm not sure how long of a walk. That's pretty cool. Someone leave their Christmas tree in there. You reckon? No lying cloud today. All the hilltops are covered. sort myself out here and then uh, get some coffee and breakfast going. don't know how these trees would have got here other than, I mean that other tree, you'd think the seed would have been blown on the wind and maybe, maybe these ones, but that one, that one and then there's a tiny one over there. Makes me wonder if it's every year someone brings their Christmas tree and plants it out. That, that might be my uh, might be my romantic mind. But really, they're just growing naturally. Anyway, look at the view. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. It's pretty stunning. So this morning we're on we're on Wayfair all day breakfast. Again a new experience. This was cooked for me very kindly by Rob. Not by John, he's a <laughs> Take that take that bit out. Yeah, no, Rob Rob put this on for me because uh, He's a generous soul. Wow, chunks of bacon in there. Nope, that was scrambled egg. I think that's bacon. That's okay. Tastes like those tins of beans with sausages. All those tins of all day breakfast. Mmm. It's a beautiful morning. Could do with the sun, but it's uh, it's overcast, but it's nice. Out 
outdoor channel did you first start watching? MCQ. Yeah. What was yours then? Old Camper. Probably Joe Robin it. It's the one I yeah. first started watching. When I started watching YouTube stuff, I didn't, never used to watch it really. I think I'd watch film trailers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But I started when I was bedridden. I started watching just you know things like what I was saying the other day. You know what? What if the sun disappeared? And <laughs> what if there was no wind? And then decided, oh, I wonder if I could. Actually, no. There was a guy I watched. Uh, what's his name? He did sort of three-day solo sort of survival stuff. Oh, I can't think of his name. Ameri I think he's American, blonde hair. He's, he's only done three or four videos, but they're really long, really good ones. He makes everything. He goes with no knife. He's quite skinny. Yeah. He usually goes topless. Yeah, barefoot. I've, I've seen him do one. Yeah. And he builds, you know, yeah. the a frame shelter, a frame with a with an igloo style. Yeah. Bit at the front, and I think I watched all of what he had to offer. I can't think of his name. Yeah, I've seen one of his. And. Um, and he made his own cordage and he built a stone bit out the front and I thought that's mental, that's well cool. So I started searching for 24 hour solo and things like that and I think I ended up on Joe Robinette and he had you know, 50,000 videos so I just sat each day and watched a couple every day and, um, and then you come across others and there we go. <laughs> I, but when I first got that GoPro, I put the head thing on and I filmed my entire meal that I was cooking <laughs> with the with the GoPro on my head, and I filmed there. Yeah. You know, my hands were here. Thirty centimeters off. So there's me, <sighs> heavy breathing, <laughs> ta talking, and then just nothing around me <laughs> for about half an hour. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Well, you live and learn, mate. I think they make an interesting difference, but for about 30 seconds. What? In putting on a head torture, a head yeah. mount or a chest mount. Yeah. For, for a little tiny bit, but you can't do a whole video. Because exactly. there's too much movement. Your head moves. You get little gimbals now, like that one I've got. You get one that's a like GoPro do. It's designed to strap there, so it gives a bit of a right. steady thing. Yeah. What's the name of that guy? That's it, look. Sounds like it's. Might as well go all the way. Yeah, that's it. There you go. There's a bag. Good man. There's a bag. There's more. Oh, start charging for this. Yeah, there's, a, there's another filter that does, um, as you pump, it back washes the system as well. Oh yeah. So it's got like in the inside the single tube, it's got two. So as you pump, it shoots out a, a side bit. It's like, yeah, that's yeah. quite a good idea. Who makes that? I think it's MSR. Uh -huh. Do this. We at we're, capacity. We're at two liters. Done. Yeah. Just uh, filtered some water from a puddle. We did. Well, I I so Rob's very kindly filtered some water from a puddle that I wash my feet in. But uh, yeah, so we're all filled up with water. I think we're going to slowly pack up, and then we'll be heading on our way. What filter did you use? filter was a Catadyne Hiker Pro for those that like water filters and it was pretty cool you saw it nice and easy oh, I forgot about that thanks mate here we are your water sire thank you 
So I've got a one litre canteen and two litres in a bag that hopefully will see me through the day. Yeah, I'm going to tidy up my tent. So a quick rundown of um, where we went yesterday and uh, and where we're planning to go today. As uh, chief navigator and captain, John's gonna John's gonna take you through it. So we started here in uh, Istradfeld and parked the car, came down this road and then picked up this footpath, came up here, found this road came down and uh, made our way over to the cave where we had lunch, which you'll see in no doubt all of our videos. Uh, and from there, then we, we hoofed it straight across. That was the hard bit. This was the hard bit, the hard leg. And then down here where we picked up uh, this footpath through the ford where we filled up with water, up and across the road, and then we came up into this area, which is uh, where we've camped. And uh, today, we're going to sort of head over here into this lovely woodland area, pick up some of this these waterfalls down here, perhaps, perhaps this this stream and camp in this sort of area tonight. Awesome. Where are we now? Let's put your finger there for a second. Thank you, John. That's all right. Any time. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're all packed and ready. Time for a walk. So, day two, here we come. Hopefully we find woods and waterfalls. <laughs> and, and Rob will whistle. Rob will whistle so we know where he is. Time to go whistle. That's yeah. Therefore. yeah. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, the pack is warming me up. Sure, your nipples are telling a different story. Trust you to be looking at my nipples. 